the north side of uh, Hawkman Gasthaus here is the uh, the uh, inlet uh, what do you call it <laughs> head race for the water uh, to the to the water wheel that's down there the water hasn't come here yet but it probably will soon we're gonna head on up the hill uh, but as I'm walking uh, a couple things to tell you that stack of bricks right there is uh, my, uh, currently my plan for that is to use them to build a kiln uh, to fire ceramics maybe even uh, crucibles I don't know but uh, Oh, I, I don't know if you can remember where I said I would put that in the South Village. This, th that's ingredients for a uh, solar heated water, s hot water system. I'll put a tank right up there at the top. And, and to, to get the water up there, we'll take a pump, which I'll power with a, either off the water wheel, probably off that water wheel down there, or maybe off a windmill small windmill. All right, we're going to head on, well, no, wait a minute, there's one other thing. That seemingly forgotten building down there, that's to be a uh, Wayne hut, and there's going to be Jurgen hut and Renate Falls. This falls here is called Erica Falls. Uh, uh, this stuff you know from before, and and the water comes all the way from back there in the woods. All right, now I think I'm ready to head up. Parts to be used for various things. My pallet collection, which I'm gonna go through very fast once I start burning them. And uh, I stopped here though, because this hay, this old hay, <clears throat> it's edible still, some of it, but it probably it's gonna end up being used for mulch. Uh, I'm, uh, my neighbor Josh is going to move it for me. All right, now I think I'm ready to go on. See those bare rocks up there? Someday, I imagine, if I live long enough, I'd like to build a village up there out of stone. That That isn't my property. That's my sister and her brother-in-law's. But, uh, something for fun. Anyway, I'm standing at the moot point. Right under my feet is a stake, a uh, steel stake driven into the ground and I call it the moot point because if you were going to have a moot this would be a good point to have a moot of the various tribes of Dutch Corner. I'm, I'm dabbling in, in the uh, the uh, fiction that was written about Dutch Corner. What, what, what's noteworthy actually here is what you don't see because there was wood all over the top of this hill and I have used it all up. I haven't burnt very much. Now right over there <clears throat> is uh, next, this spring coming, uh, I want to build an aqueduct to bring water as close to here as possible and then pump it the rest of the way with a windmill so that I could have a fountain right where I'm standing. All right, we're gonna go into the woods. I have to stop here because once again this is exciting. The water today, just today, has begun to come back out of the mountain. I had laid those pallets where the aqueduct's going to go because they're covering up a, a uh, an inverted aqueduct, uh, an inverted siphon uh, that I didn't want the cows to tromp. Uh, I, I'll be able to take them up. I, I decided I'd do better with my neighbor's little backhoe to build a, a low aqueduct. I'm talking, it'll only be about two feet high. Water, it's gonna be a major subject, I think, in the coming year. Water, once again, you probably can't understand my joy to see this, uh, but that is such a major part of my life. And, you know, I sort of go into mourning for about five months when there is no water coming from the mountain. A little bit like, uh, oh, what was her? Terpsichore's mother. No, not Terpsichore. Uh, the Greek goddess that went into mourning for half the year. I'm standing in the middle of, we're, we're on the Alp now. That's what this would be called in uh, many parts of Europe, I think. 
where in the summertime, I think the goats are going to stay up here. Uh, this will be a goat fold, uh, a four huts, one in each corner, two, but then fenced uh, um, among them, uh, three, and then four, so that the goats at night can be folded. They'll have a safe place to be from coyotes and and then, too, if I have visitors that, that are willing to camp out uh, under bad conditions, they'll have these huts to come to, toward which end there is the outhouse, uh, the last standing outhouse, they say, from uh, Immlertown, moved here, donated, belongs actually to the history group. All right, we're going to go on up into new territory. That's the direction I came from, and here, these rocks at my feet are where fires have been built before. I'm standing on what we called the campground. We still call it probably the campground. My son was brave enough with a buddy of his, Burton, to camp here one night. Actually, two foreign exchange students and Sven and I built a fire here once and stayed till about midnight when I said, that's enough, I'm going home. And they didn't want to. It was fun, but it's a level spot. Anyway, it's at the edge of our property. Where that wire is at that point, oh, there's the bench oak. I wonder if you can see that remarkable oak. Uh, anyway, uh, there's the edge of our property. The property on up the mountain belongs to my sister and her brother-in-law. Uh, and it's we're very friendly and it's very accessible for hiking and whatever. Anyway, at this very spot, I think about building a cluster of huts each year and taking them away as a place to show how easy and quickly it can be done. If you have a cluster of four around a, a central fire, you, you've got the makings of a village. All right, one other thing I'll say, I'll, I'll keep turning, I guess, while I say it. Maybe now's a good time to be philosophical. Um, tomorrow, no, well, day after tomorrow, actually, I'm going to have my heart worked on. And it should be insignificant. I mean, it should be a, my, it's an ablation because I have SVT. Uh, but, you know, it makes somebody think, and it's one of the reasons I've sort of been in a hurry today to film all this stuff, because I wanted to leave a record. So if something would happen, if I would have a stroke or worse, while this procedure was being done. There'd be a record. And the one thing I've been shy about saying, but I, I, at some point I really do need to say it, is I, I'm out to change the world. It's as simple as that. Um, I, I'd like people to look at what I've done and say, hey, if Frank can do it, I sure as hell can do it. Uh, with very little money, almost alone, build a new culture, start a new economy, start a village. Uh, I don't know. I can't be eloquent on this, I guess. But in any case, I, I, although it's not done, maybe it'll never be done, I'm hoping that the extent of all this has been to show an example of what could be done. Okay. Bye for now.